Hello and welcome to this video on adding whole numbers. Now the key to adding numbers when we have more than one digit in each is to just look at the place value. So if we had a column for the units digit and then the column for the tens digit and then a column for the hundreds digit then we just arrange our numbers into those columns. So we've got 234, so that's 230, that's the tens digit, 4. And then we're adding 13. Now that's 110, and that is three units. Now I've seen students before where they've accidentally put the 13 like that, which means the one would be the hundreds digit. So you have to make sure that if the digit is in the same column, it has the same place value. And then we can just add the unit digits. We have four units, and then we add three units to that. Four plus three would be seven units. What about the tens digit? If we have three tens and we add one ten, then we would have four tens. And then if we add two hundreds, and we're not adding any extra hundreds to it, so that's just going to be two hundreds, and we'd end up with 247. Where it becomes slightly more complicated is where when we add these numbers it gives you a value that's more than 10 because we're going to effectively overflow into the next column to the left. So let's try it with some of these. We want to calculate 47 plus 34. So we first arrange it into columns. We've got the units column here and the tens column here. So we've got 47 plus 34. And this is known as column addition, by the way, because we're arranging the digits into columns based on their place value. So we've got 7 plus 4. Now that's 11. Now we can't put 11 as a units digit. Can you see that when we have 11, we've got 110 and one unit. So we're going to put that one unit here. So that 110 extra we've got, um, we can put it either here, down here, or some people like to put it up here. So we've got 4 plus the 3 tens, that's 7 tens, but we had that extra 10 there, so that's going to give us 8 tens. And this, by the way, is known as a carry. It's the kind of extra 10 or the extra 100s or whatever that is overflowing into the next column. So our answer is 81. Right, let's do the next one. We got 309 plus 97. So let's arrange into columns first. We've got 309 plus 97. Being careful about the alignment. Now 9 plus 7 is 16. So we can see we've got 6 units there. So we put the 6 in this units column here. But we've got an extra 10. So we've got this carry. So I'm going to just put it down here. The 1 extra 10. Now 0 plus 9 is 9 plus the 1 is 10. Now with 10, the units digit is 0, so we put the 0 here, but that 10's digit 1, we've got to carry into the next column. So we've got 3, we're not adding any extra 100's, but we've got that extra 100 here. So 3 plus 1 would be 4, so we get 406. What about the next one? We've now got a subtraction, we're doing 63 minus 19. And again, we arrange it into columns in exactly the same way, so we've got 63 minus 19. Now instead of adding the digits, we're going to be subtracting them. So we're doing 3 minus 9. But we can't do 3 minus 9 because that number is bigger than that one. We would end up with a negative number, but we don't want that. So what we do is we actually have to borrow a 10 from the column to the left. So we can see this is a tens column. Now let's just say we reduce that by 1 to get 5 tens instead. We've now freed up a 10, so we can add it to here. So 3, and if we give it that extra 10, it's now going to be 13. So I put a little 1 there to say that we've now got 13 there. And by borrowing that 10, it means we now can do 13 minus 9. So 13 minus 9 would be 4, and we were able to do that. And now, in the tens digit, we've got 5 minus 1, which is 4. So we have 44. And by the way, I would actually do this mentally. If you want to do 63 minus 19, I would do 63 minus 20, which is 43, but we subtracted one too much, so we have to add one back on to compensate, so we get to 44. So you could do that mentally. What about the next one? We've got 430 minus 78, so I'm aligning the digits carefully. So we can't do 0 minus 8, so we have to borrow from the next digit. So that 3 we turn to 1 less, so it becomes 20 instead of 30. 
and that means we've stolen that 10 and we can bring it over here. So instead of zero, we've now got 10. So we put that. Now we can do 10 minus eight, which is two. Now, we can't do two minus seven in the tens digit. So again, we have to borrow from the next digit. So that four reduces by one to become three. And that means we freed up a hundred, which we can put on here. So that two becomes 12. We just put a one on front of it. Now we can do 12 minus seven, that is five. And then finding the hundreds digit, we've got three minus, well, there's no hundreds we're subtracting. So it'd just be 352. And finally, with this one, 6,000 minus 2387. Now we can't do zero minus seven, so we're gonna to have to borrow from the next digit. Ah, but it's zero, we can't borrow from it, so we're gonna to have to look at the next one. But oh dear, that is zero again. So we're gonna to have to borrow from here. So that 6,000 becomes five, which means we can put a one in front of the digit to the right of it, but we wanted to borrow from there, so that 10, becomes nine, which means we've now can put a one here, but we wanted to borrow from here. So we cross out the 10 and put a nine, which means we can now put a one here. So now we've got 10 minus seven, which we can do, it's three. And now we've got nine minus eight, which we can do, it's one. We've now got nine minus three, which is six, which we can do. And we've got five minus two, which is equal to three. Let's just do one more example of that. If we had, say, 3,000 minus 274. Now we can't do zero minus four, so we have to borrow from here, but we can't borrow from here because it's zero, so we have to look to the next digit. We can't borrow from there because it's zero, so we have to look to the next digit. That three, we steal from there, it becomes two, reduces by one, which means we can add extra one to here. So it's now 10. We wanted to borrow from that, so that becomes nine, which means we can put one here, but we wanted to borrow from that, so that becomes a nine again. And that means we can put this extra one here. So we've now got 10 minus four, which is six, nine minus seven, which is two, nine minus two, which is seven, and two minus nothing is two.